Today we're going to talk about how to market your home bakery business and get more sales. First thing you can do, and I've talked about this many times, but go to pop-ups, go to farmer's markets, go to festivals, go to flea markets, any sort of event where you can set up a table, sell your baked goods, give out samples, and interact with your customers. This is gonna be the fastest way to grow your business because you are interacting with your customers. They get to know you. They're not just blindly ordering from a home bakery from a person they've never met. So it makes it a lot less risky for them to place an order if they've already met you and they've tasted a sample of whatever you're selling. Not all states let you do that, let you do any sort of farmer's market or pop-up, but if you can, I would just book as many as you're capable of doing when you first start and any time that you need to grow your business. This is kind of controversial because some people say don't give away free product, but if you can't sell at a farmer's market or a pop-up like your state doesn't allow you, just giving out samples is gonna be really helpful. Not selling anything, just giving out samples for free and then having a lot of like business cards, little brochures that have have your information and pictures of what you do. If you can set up at an event and just give away samples, that can be better than not doing it at all. Like if your state doesn't let you do markets or pop-ups or anything, doing something where you are at a busy event but you're just giving away samples is going to be better than just sitting at home and trying to market online. It will cost you more upfront, but you will most likely, if you have a good product, get a lot of customers that way that want to place an order. A lot of them will say, I want an order right now. They'll place an order and say, what's the soonest I can get this? So it kind of makes them want your product more. If you set up an event, you give away free samples without trying to sell anything in return for the free samples. So if you're just out there giving away free samples and just showing them, this is what I do, this is where you can order in the future, that's gonna be really beneficial for your business. So this is another thing you can do. I recommend it, it helped me with my business. It helps a lot of my students, but giving away product free to charities, pairing up with schools, charities, nonprofits, and giving them baked goods, baking for their event, or giving away free samples at one of their events. And then you can also give your business card out while you're there. You can hand out little pamphlets that have pictures of your baked goods, what you offer, the flavors you have, and just set up wherever they need Need baked goods or put your logo on your packaging if you can't be there. But that can be a great way to get your baked goods out in front of a lot of people and help your community. So this one is more helpful if you're in the wedding industry, but even if you're not, I would still recommend this. I would get in touch with vendors for weddings and for parties, because even if you're not doing weddings, like big wedding orders, you're probably still doing orders for graduation parties, bridal showers, baby showers, stuff like that, where it's not gonna be as big of an order, but it will be helpful if you make connections with the other vendors in that industry. So get in touch with photographers, wedding planners, event planners, caterers, anything like that, where if you were planning an event, who would you call, who would you reach out to to help plan your event, or some of the other vendors that you would reach out to and hire for an event you're having. Think of that and think, okay, if I was throwing a wedding or a bridal shower or a big party, who am I gonna call? And then call those people with the intention of connecting with them as a vendor and not using their services. And then get in touch with those vendors and tell them what you're doing, give them samples. Samples are really good because they don't wanna just recommend a random vendor to their customers because their customers most likely trust them. So get to know them, bring them samples, show them maybe past work if you have photos from past work you've done or if you have reviews from your customers. That will be very helpful because then they can trust, okay, this is a good product, like they're gonna be there on time, they're gonna show up. They have a great service, so I can recommend them to my clients as well. But don't connect with them with the mindset of, hey, can you help me out here? I'm a new business, and can you tell your customers about me? No, that's not gonna work. That's probably just gonna annoy them and make it seem like you're using them. So try to go in there with a the mindset of what you can do to make their customers happier. So this one probably won't get you sales right away, but if you keep doing stuff like this, it's going to build up your business and it's gonna make your name known in the community if you keep doing this kind of stuff. So something else you can do is you can do a giveaway with other 
local established businesses. So whether that's you're selling baked goods or macarons, you do a giveaway with a vineyard or a brewery or something like that. Even if at first you say, I will buy the product and do a giveaway and we can do a giveaway to your customers and to mine. So even if it's not you trying to get their product for free and you give your product for free, you can still do something where like, hey, can I buy a couple bottles of wine from you and we do a giveaway, but you also promote it on your website and your social media. So basically at first, it's only good for them. They don't have to do anything and you're gonna run the whole thing and you're gonna pay for everything. That might not be something everyone can do because you would buy the product, but you could still get in touch with other vendors and ask if they wanna do a giveaway where you both give away something and see what they say. If they say no then, then you could say, okay, I'll buy the product and we can do a giveaway like that. But that will help with growing your following on social media locally and help you grow in the community where other businesses who are already established will be showing your business to their customer base. Now, this one is not as big of a deal as the others because you don't necessarily need a huge social media following to have a successful home bakery business, but it is very helpful, especially if you're not doing markets where you're out there in person meeting people. So if you have nowhere in person that people can come and find you, you are gonna wanna focus more on growing your social media, growing your web presence, and growing your brand online. So this is a little more difficult for home bakers because you need to grow locally. You don't just need to grow following worldwide. So when you're trying to grow your social media as a home baker, you're gonna do different techniques than someone who is growing just to grow their social media following. So for you as a home baker or even any kind of restaurant or bakery where you need customers and you want your social media to be people that are going to come in and buy at your shop or wherever you are selling. So it's important that you grow it locally instead of just using hashtags and stuff like cupcakes or French macarons or whatever you're selling. That's going to get a lot of people worldwide that are most likely not looking to buy but looking for inspiration. You want to focus on local you want to focus on people that are actually going to come and buy your product wherever you're selling it. So if you need help with this and you want to start taking your business seriously and really start making money in your home bakery, go to the link in the description. I have a program called the Home Bakery Blueprint where you work with me for 12 months to grow your home bakery business. Okay, love you. Bye.